former detective is being questioned in London about attempts to extort a million pounds by threats involving the contamination of baby food. He was arrested as he withdrew cash from a North London building society after one of the biggest police surveillance operations ever mounted in Britain. The jars of food were spiked with glass, metal and caustic soda. The man is also being questioned about alleged extortion from a pet food firm last year. A news blackout had been agreed by police and the media to prevent copycat extortions. Paul Hill, the last of the Guildford Four to be released, is back with his family in London. He's to have an operation on a broken cheekbone before an appeal against his conviction for murdering a former soldier. He was freed on bail after Belfast High Court allowed the appeal to go ahead. Hill's confession was obtained by the same Surrey policeman being investigated for perjury in the Guildford case. Two inquiries are underway into the convictions. On the plane to London, Hill was with his daughter, born just after he started his sentence. Hill said he'd spent 14 years in the darkest dungeons of the British legal system. The toast was freedom. Oh, freedom. And my daughter. In Northern Ireland, two police officers have been shot and wounded in a terrorist attack. Their patrol car was ambushed on the Bessbrook to Balik Road in South Armagh. Shop stewards at Ford Dag Ford's Dagenham plant have warned the workforce not to walk out on wildcat strikes. They've told them in letters to be less militant and more productive. Ford are due to respond next week to a claim for a substantial pay rise, at least 10%. Sierra production is already set to be transferred from Dagenham to Belgium, and the shop stewards from the Transport Workers' Union say there's a real danger Ford will decide to close Dagenham in the mid-90s. Winds gusting up to 86 miles an hour are battering the south coast and causing widespread damage in Devon and Cornwall, tearing down trees and power lines. Heavy rain has caused traffic accidents and there's some flooding in South Wales. Forecasters say the storms will spread from the south up through the west of England. And that's all for now. We have more news later.